Jerry, welcome back to Tuscaloosa. I hope you're doing well. I'm fine. How are you? Good. I know it's a busy time for you this time of the year. I'm looking at the articles. You're spitting them out left and right on CBSSports.com, and everybody wants to know, is their team in or out? And we actually are part of the conversation here in Tuscaloosa, which is a good thing. Yeah, they've made a nice little run here uh, the last few weeks uh, to put themselves, you know, in, in a position where, you know, they can, they've got a chance to get in. You know, there's, there's the schedule ahead that was still pretty difficult, uh, starting with the game at LSU tomorrow night. But, uh, you know, Alabama's put themselves in, in a place where now they've got a, a pretty good chance to maybe get themselves into the NCAA tournament. So right now, if you look at the final six games, is there a total that you think they need to win out of those six? I mean, I know it depends on which ones you win, uh, a couple of bad losses, and you can sort of cancel that out. But what do you think that, that you would feel okay about this team getting in the tournament on those final six games? And you've got the SEC well, tournament Well, you know, that, look, Alabama's a bubble team for a reason, right? So, I mean, realistically, they're not going to win all six of their games, but if they do, then they can probably feel pretty good, right? Entering the conference tournament, you know the, the season doesn't end with those six games. Um, you know Alabama's going to probably have to win at least one of these road games and take care of business at home, and then let then ask the question again in three weeks because it doesn't depend only on what Alabama does. You know, bubble teams don't really control their own destiny uh, per se, unless they just get so hot they're no longer on the bubble. But you know, for if you're a bubble team, you are beholden to what's going on in other places and other teams that are trying to steal your spot in the bracket. Well, could they work their way out of the bubble, though? They could, I suppose. Sure. Um, you know, they'd have to just continue this hot streak, but there's no magic number, you know, to say that this is going to get you out of the bubble because, again, even that depends on what other teams do. When, when you look uh, at this team, what is the resume that you think boosts their resume and what also hurts their resume? Well, the, the thing that, that boosts them is that they've got a number of quality wins. You know, that they've beaten good teams, um, maybe not great teams yet, but good teams, and they've beaten them uh, at home and they've beaten them away from home. And so those are uh, good things. You know, they've got uh, really just the one bad loss to Auburn, uh, and that's, uh, you know, that's not a big deal, but otherwise it's really just the number of losses. You know, it's, so this is a team that needs to string. They've strung some wins together. They need to continue to string some wins together. And do you think that this national attention, because we're not really talking about Alabama. You've got an RPI in the 30s, but on the national level, they don't really get a lot of conversation. Uh, is what, what, what do you think that's the reason for that? I mean, obviously they're a bubble team, but you're not even seeing them really get a lot of conversation, a lot of play. Uh, probably just because they're not higher up. Than, than that, you know, it's not. I don't think it's anything other than you know, Alabama. Just they're a middle of the bracket, the lower part of the bracket kind of team, and those teams don't get talked about a lot. It's the it's the blue bloods of the sport that get talked about, and and the higher rated teams that get talked about. And we know a little bit about that on football side, not a lot of basketball side. SEC. Right. How many teams do you see in this tournament? Well, uh, Kentucky, Texas A and M, South Carolina. And then, you know, some combination of Alabama, Florida, Georgia, LSU. Could be all of them, could be none of them. Depends on how they all finish. Uh, it's unlikely, I would think, to be all or none. Probably going to be in between. But, you know, the, the way things break, it could be all or none. So when you're looking at the last six games, you've got Mississippi State here. That's a, that's a must win. So you could afford yep. the LSU loss. You look at the three Maybe. home law, uh, home uh, games, Auburn, Arkansas. You got to win those, and you think they've got to still win on the yep. road. Yeah, at least one. Yeah, but yeah, the home the home games are must wins because they're horrible losses. If if you lose those games, I mean, it's not because they help you; it's because losing hurts you so badly. So the home games are must wins uh, to keep you from damaging your profile, and then you try and build it on the road. You know, see what happens. 